Hello. Welcome, everybody. This is an exciting day. It's April 23rd, 2019, and we are here for the groundbreaking of the new middle school. Here, here. So we're really excited to see everybody here. It's such a nice group. Um, people from all different parts of the process coming together to finally make it happen. So thank you to all of you who have been here. We have a couple of speakers today that wanted to just say a few words to you. Um, I just wanted to pass along regrets from uh, Representatives Conley and Dela Cruz. They are in session up in Hartford and they're booked there until 4.30. So unless something changes dramatically, um, and they fly low, they're not going to get here. So they, they send the regrets, but you need to know that they've done um, amazing work to get this done, as well as our state senator. So uh, they will not be able to be here. At that point, I would like to ask Mr. Norris if he could remove the lovely green tablecloth from the sign. So I'm sure all of you who are here have seen it before. So it's exciting though for the people at home. So our first speaker will be Senator Summers. Good afternoon. Isn't it nice that it's sunny today? We queued this up just for you all today. So um, when we talked about having the groundbreaking ceremony today, I was thinking back and it's hard to believe that almost eight years ago in 2011 when I was the mayor we set up the first school planning task force and um, there's been so many people that have been involved in getting this to the point where it is right now where we're going to be pouring concrete I just heard in a few days um, but this none of this could be possible at all without the dedication of so many individuals that stayed the course um, regardless of the little hiccups I'll put it that went throughout the process so um, the advocacy of the teachers of the parents of the administration of the students and of all those community members whether they had students in this system or not um, coming together and staying the course for eight years is pretty amazing so I want to make sure you know we went through different elected officials and different mayors and they were always on board and it is a great day to be here today there are a few people that I have to do a special thanks to because these people were um, the posse is getting this done and the first person that I really want to do a shout out to and I don't think he's here is John Heller um, he was you can give him a round of applause because he was amazing he um, met me at the old Norm's Diner and I bought him breakfast and asked him um, wholeheartedly and convinced him for an hour and a half that he should be the chairman of the school planning task force because he could use his skills from the Coast Guard and he happened to know the, at the time, just coming on superintendent, Dr. Grenier, so I thought he could work his magic, and he was amazing. He um, led that committee of 19 and stayed the course, and I can't thank him enough because without his leadership, I don't think we'd be here today. And he was not going to give up, so I'm sorry that he's not here. Um, Craig Kohler, who's here, who has fantastic hair, by the way, um, is <laughs> the financial guy. He was doing the dog and pony show, going around trying to convince voters that they should support this and did a great job. Um, John Scott let us use his facility for the um, members of the Groton 2020 pack. I know many of them here, John, John, Jane Dauphiné, Clint and Leah Kennedy, I think I saw them, Rebecca, um, Kevin Trejo, um, Bruce Flax, Rita Schmidt, um, let's see here. I want to thank, too, the former town manager. I don't think he's here, Mark Ofinger and Nikki Brejan. They helped um, corral this group for many, many years and help us focus. Um, obviously, the permanent school building committee is just amazing. They've done yeoman's work, and we're looking forward to all the great things that they're going to do on their many projects that we have coming here in the town of Groton. I'd also like to thank the Board of Education, um, Kim Watson, the chairman, and all the members have also worked with us so um, diligently to make sure that all of the needs of the school, communi the community and the school needs and the needs of our individualized students are met in this new school construction project. And 
I also am going to say that um, none of this would be possible if it wasn't for Lenny Winkler. She's, I don't see her today, but Dr. Grenier and I were just talking about the whole diversity grant and we brought Lenny up with us and him and myself and Lenny sat there and had a conversation um, with the State Department of Education. Um, I guess I'll call him the gatekeeper on who gets funding and who does not. His name is Costa. And he said to us, Groton has done everything we asked. And we said, yes, we have, but this diversity grant is an issue. Can you fix it, please? So um, without her being able to um, really lean on the relationships that she had, it would have been very difficult to try to change that diversity grant in an implementer. But we were able to do it and we're here today, so we're very excited. And I do have a uh, citation from the legislature to give to the town manager if he would like to come up here in celebration, along with Kim Watson and Dr. Grenier, if you could come up, that would be great. And we're going to ask for your help one more time. We need to spread the word to vote on May 6. Yes. This is going to go down in history as the project with the most referendums, <laughs> just so you know. But we're going to pass this one again, and we just yes. need people to get out there and vote. Um, so please vote yes on May 6, which is coming up quickly. And this is an official citation. Uh, from the General Assembly today, just denoting the wonderful groundbreaking ceremony for the Groton Public Schools for the new Groton Middle School. It was introduced by myself and uh, Representative Dela Cruz and Conley. And quickly, just it says, be hereby known to all, the Connecticut General Assembly offers its most sincere congratulations to Groton on the new Groton Middle School in recognition of the groundbreaking, groundbreaking for the new consolidated Groton Middle School school we wish the continued success for Groton on all its projects and as you work to create a facility to educate and enrich the students and the surrounding community and the entire membership extends its very best wishes today on this very memorable occasion uh, the 23rd of day of April 2019 and it was signed this morning by the president pro tem Martin Looney the speaker of the house Joe Arasimowitz and the secretary of state Denise Merrill congratulations to everyone Next person to speak is Robert Austin LaFrance. So um, Rob, as most of you know, is chair of the Permanent School Building Committee, and they have done amazing work here. And I'm going to let you introduce maybe the members of your commission, sure. if they're here. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Maybe we can do this. Um, if, if the rest of the members would come up here, I'd be happy to introduce them. Jamie, Christy, <laughs> David, <laughs> Kevin, you can actually, Kevin, if you're more comfortable, you can just stand instead of making you walk around on all of this. Let's see, where's David? There's David. Is, uh, is Doug here? Doug is not here. Doug's not here. And Mike is not here. So I'll let you guys all introduce yourselves. Hi, Jamie. I'm Karen Crystal, and I'm going to be part of the and most of you know me, I'm Bob Austin LaFrance. Um, what I'd like to say, what I'd like to say is a huge thank you to the administrators, the educators, the students, and the architects. Without those groups getting together and learning what each of them needed to do with the building, you wouldn't have this building. This building is going to be amazing. And the nicest thing I can tell you as the chair of the building committee at this point is, we are on time and we are within budget. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much. Um, we have closing remarks, but before that, I would just like to um, ask the current counselors and the current Board of Ed members to stand, please, because this is the team that carried the ball across the line for you. Um, we jumped through hoops to get this done. So thank you, Councilor Atwater, Councilor Franco, Councilor Parker, Board Members Robertson, White, Volkman, Fitzgerald. I don't know who else is here. And of course, Chairman Watson. So thank you guys. Oh, I'm sorry, Gretchen, I didn't see you. 
Mrs. Newsom is also here. Thank you. And all the RTM members that also voted for this. So thank you to everybody past and present. Everybody worked together. Everybody got it done. And I'm going to let um, Chairperson Watson close us out. It's good to know that I'm the closer. <laughs> I also want to explain my wardrobe. My husband loves it. But I figured I, I figured I had to sort of, you know, mitigate the browns and the blacks and the blues. And so I think I have succeeded. A breath of spring. Yes. Wow. I know that um, Senator Summers were talking about the past seven, ten years. But really, the need for having one middle school goes back many, many years. And um, for me, I'm very grateful. I saw Chaz here someplace. Yes. And so I can remember when I was a fledgling um, on the Board of Ed that we were really kind of talking about the importance of bringing Groton together into one space and never thinking that it could happen. And what a s strange trip we've been on, um, but we are here to this day, that um, the whole mission It's my outfit. They want to take pictures of my outfit. <laughs> And that to be able to um, be able to b say this and to know that it's going to be true, that in that our Groton 2020 plan, when all of us got together a couple of years ago for that long weekend, where we're really trying to take the work that came before us, that we're standing on the shoulders of other town council town councils and former boards of ed, of how do we make the district equal and bring equity into our school system um, is just amazing. And so for me, though, I care a lot about what the building looks like. For me, it's what's going to happen on the inside. It's going to be the learning. It's going to be the teaching. It is going to be bringing groups of people together um, and making us as a community really proud. I'm going to quote my husband. He doesn't think I like him, but I actually really do. <laughs> is this. He used to always say, Groton is a great place to visit, but it's a most wonderful place to live. And I share that sentiment, and we should be incredibly proud of what this district is going to be like and what it is currently like, and it is amazing right now. So it, I can't just wait to see what it's going to be like um, once we have this building and, yes, the other two um, elementary schools um, as they come in line in a couple years. So once again, I say thank you to all who has made this possible, um, and let's go Groton. I understand there's going to be some groundbreaking now. We have some nice shovels back there. Uh, Mr. Norris is here somewhere, and he will lead us in that endeavor. <laughs>